What's up guys, it's David here. Today I'm going to be sharing nine tips that you can use to get more sales out of Instagram. So let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. If you are building a brand on Instagram or social media, you have come to the right place because that's all I talk about here. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna see the videos I publish each and every week. By now you've probably heard of the Instagram influencer Ari. And if you don't know Ari by name, you probably know her story. Ari has 2.6 million followers on Instagram. And so she wanted to start a clothing line. So what she did was she partnered up with a company that was gonna make the t-shirts for her. All Ari had to do to jumpstart her clothing line was to sell t-shirts to 36 of her 2.6 million followers. She did the shoot to launch her t-shirt line. She posted the pictures and crickets. Ari couldn't sell 36 t-shirts. Most brands don't have 2.6 million followers but most brands do struggle to sell their products to their followers on Instagram. Today, what I'm going to do is give you my top nine tips to get more sales from Instagram. Number one is, and I know this is gonna seem really obvious, but sell something people actually want. I know, crazy, right? One of the things that most businesses don't realize is that you need to do your research and be sure that your audience on Instagram actually wants to buy whatever you're posting. And the way that you can do this is that you can do some research ahead of time. You can look at other things that those followers are interacting with. You can look at other influencers who are promoting brands that are competitive to yours. You can see what people are asking in the comments. You can go to Instagram pages that are bigger than yours and see what questions that people are asking. These are all ways that you can be sure that your audience will want to buy the products. And you can look at the posts on your page that get the most engagement. That will give you a clue about what people actually wanna buy who are following you. So that's tip number one, is make sure people actually wanna buy your product. Tip number two, post useful and viral content every single day. Think about the last post that you actually saved on Instagram. What was that post about? Was it a look that you might wanna wear? A recipe that you wanted to try out later? Was it a fitness workout that you wanted to save? Think about the content that people actually want to save or look at your profile, what is the most saved content and post more of that. Because when you post useful content, it tells Instagram, the people who are engaging and saving your content, they're going to see your next post. The other type of content that you want to post on an ongoing basis is viral content. The content that gets shared the most on your profile, the content that you last shared with someone. What did that make you feel? Was it funny? Was it unbelievable? That Did it anger you? You wanna think about that type of content and you wanna post that content to your profile. Again, that gives Instagram a really good idea of the type of people who are engaging with your content. So when you post a product promotion post, your new betting offering that you have, your sale, Instagram will say, oh, did these people interact with your brand's content in the past? And if they did, it's gonna show your product post. And the more people that get to see your product posts, the more people will potentially buy your product. Tip number three, optimize your bio. What happens when you use Instagram? And you're scrolling through your feed and you see a post that looks kind of interesting, right? You might like that post and then you might be even more interested and you visit the profile that posted that content. You wanna make sure that your bio is optimized with a description of what your store or your business offers and a compelling reason why your followers or someone visiting your profile will want to visit your website. When they see that and you have a call to action saying shop our newest looks or save 10% off today, what happens is you have compelled someone to click through on your profile to your store. That is tip number three. Tip Number four, you don't wanna over promote your product, but you also don't wanna under promote your product. Promote your product every other day or so. You should be posting 
two to three times per day. One out of every three or four posts should be a post promoting your products. So make sure that you are actually promoting your product, you're not under promoting your product, so that people who are following your brand are used to seeing some product content, but you're not flooding them with product promotion content. You wanna promote your product 25 to 30% of the time, which is every two to three, or maybe every three to four posts. That is tip number four. Tip number five, optimize your captions. When you're doing a product promotion post, you wanna tell a story about that product in the caption. You shouldn't just say, get yours today, link in bio. You wanna tell a story about the product, what's so amazing about the product. This is the softest cotton blend t-shirt that we offer. Tell a story about how someone will feel. This, this duvet helps you sleep the entire night and stay cool and comfy. And then you wanna make a promise about how, how the user will benefit when they buy your product. Get the best night's sleep you've ever had link in bio. I just told the person who's viewing this product promotion post what's so good about the product. I told them how they will benefit from the product and then I made a promise about what will happen when they buy your product and then I told them where to buy it. That is how you optimize your product promotion captions. Tip number six, work with influencers. Now this takes a little bit of trial and error, I will admit but influencers can be a game changer for your brand. And here's why. It's not just about when the influencer posts how many people buy your product. Of course that's really important. You wanna make sure that you're not wasting your money or your product on influencers who are not yielding results. But if the influencer takes a great picture that you can then use in your feed or share in your story, then you have great content and that gives your brand validation over and above the, the generic product photos that you have already in your feed. It gives it a different look, right? And then it gives it social validation. The other reason why influencer marketing is really good is that when they post to their feed, people might come to follow your profile and because you're posting useful and viral content, they'll continue to interact with your profile and maybe they don't purchase a product from you immediately, but they might purchase product down the line. So there are three benefits to influencer marketing. The first one is obviously if an influencer posts and you get sales, that's great. The second one is that you get content that you can then use to validate your product. You can use that on your profile, you can use it in your ads. And the third part of it is that it attracts more followers to your profile who might then follow, interact with your content, and then see a product post in the future. That's tip number six. Tip number seven, have a custom landing page for your Instagram profile. Here's why you wanna have a custom landing page. People's attention spans on Instagram is super short. If you get them to click out to your website, you can't ask them to go to your homepage and shop around. You wanna control and contain that experience. And what that means is if you have a landing page that maybe has your top three or four products, or maybe your most popular products, or a collection of your products, or even just an email capture offering them 15 to 20% off their, next, their first purchase when they enter their email address, you have a better chance of selling your product once they click through. You don't just wanna send them to your homepage because there's so many things that could happen where they would get distracted. So be sure that you have a dedicated landing page that's either promoting a smaller set of products, one product itself, or that you're capturing their email so that you can give them a discount or remind them to come back to your store in the future. Tip number eight, tag your products if you can. If you're selling on Shopify or you're selling on WooCommerce, you can actually tag your products. And there are a couple reasons why you should tag your products on Instagram. The first reason is obviously it's easier to click through on a product directly to your store, directly to the product page. That's hugely valuable. The second reason is that if they save your product for later, again, you make it easier for them to access in the future. The third reason why you want to tag your products is because Instagram has a shop tab that's like the explore page. And that shop tab are a collection of the products that you as a user or your followers have interacted with in the past. 
So if you don't tag your products, you cannot show up in that shop tab. So be sure that you're tagging your posts so that one, you can make it easy for people to go directly to buy the product, but two, your products can show up in the shop explore page. Tip number nine. It is insane that more brands don't use this strategy. Tip number nine is creating a targeted audience in Facebook based on people who have engaged with your posts over the last 30 days and people who have saved your posts over the last 30 days. If you create these custom audiences for Facebook ads and you target these people, they will buy your products. It reinforces your brand. They have engaged with your posts, so they are more likely to buy products from you, your store, and your brand. All right, guys, that's it. If this video was helpful for you, hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching this, guys, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace. Oh.